Wonderful. And we are live. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the June edition, almost July, <laughs> of our Google Hangout with our wonderful Voice Your Value Success Coach, Ariana Lisa Newcomer. And this Hangout's going to be a little different. If you've been to our previous Hangouts, we've always had some wonderful guests that Ariana has invited on to be with us that she coaches and she works with one-on-one -on, -one on the call. But this Hangout this month is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be Ariana and I just speaking one-on-one -on -one and sharing some really valuable information that you don't want to miss. We've got a very exciting announcement to make today that I think you're going to really, really love and that you're going to want to participate in. And this is going to be a little different, but it's going to be a lot of fun. We've already had a few little technical things with Google Hangouts, which we will talk about more a little bit later, as you will probably be doing your own in the future. But with that said, we are here on a Sunday, ready to go, <laughs> and ready to deliver you wonderful content as we do every single month. So with that said, I'm Rodney Washington, your host for this month's edition of Dramatic, Dramatically Successful Public Speaking with Ariana Lisa Newcomer. And this month, we're going to be talking about a very special topic called Voice Your Value, How to Charge What You're Worth and Get It. So with that said, I'm going to let Ariana take over, and we will be with you and we're going to have a wonderful time this afternoon. So with that said, Ariana, it's all you. Thanks so much, Rodney. This is a topic I am really excited about, and I used to struggle with this myself a lot. And so I'm so excited to bring you my best techniques about how to charge what you're worth and get it. But first, I am Ariana Newcomer, and I specialize in teaching women entrepreneurs to speak with power and confidence from their fully aligned, authentic selves to get their message across, to be truly seen and under, understood, and to succeed in their divine purpose. And so I'm here today in that spirit to assist all of you with something that we can really struggle with, especially as women entrepreneurs, although I do think some guys struggle with this as well, don't they, Rodney? Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So how to charge what you're really worth and actually get people to say yes without feeling like you are being sleazy and being in full integrity and being able to stand in fully in your value to value yourself and to get others to actually value you as well. So the first thing that I want to talk about is the confidence gap. It's that thing in us that says, ooh, I, I don't have enough experience to charge more or I need another certification before I can charge more or I need another degree before I can actually charge more. Haven't you heard that a lot, Rodney? Absolutely, absolutely. You never feel like you have enough education to go out and do the thing that people really want you to help them do. And yes. It's, yeah, it's just a block that and, we have mentally. And it is a special problem for women. We just have this cultural underlay that says that what women traditionally value is worth less than the traditional masculine values or the things that we look at as masculine. And these are things like taking care of each other, taking care of children, caring for a home, even caring for the planet. In our economy, in our culture, in our economic models and policies, these things are given zero value. Zero monetary value and the only things that are considered important are things that have dollar signs attached to them so that as women when we have these values of caring and nurturing and supporting ourselves others our families even these activities of caring for the planet which many men are also really involved in and more men of course are taking on bigger roles within their families and being fabulous dads and doing these things as well. But our culture says these things have no monetary value. Our economic policies say these things have no monetary value and so we automatically discount ourselves as women and if you are a man who has more traditionally considered feminine attributes like this, you will also devalue yourself because our culture 
devalues that and us. So I just want to call that out as one of the things that is underlying all this whole subject that especially for women our culture says our voices don't matter as much as men's our talents are not as useful as the traditional masculine talents and so in our in our wanting to really have our own authentic voice in business how do we find that place where we can actually truly value ourselves and that's really the first step we have to own our own value and realize that we already know enough that we have enough certifications that we have enough experience and that actually one of the best things that you can do in order to learn something new is to jump in and start and this is traditionally something that men are much better at and there's an interesting statistic out there which says that when women look at a job posting for a promotion for instance they look at the qualifications and women feel that they have to have at least 50 percent sometimes that the statistic says 60 percent of those qualifications in order I'm sorry I'm doing this backwards women feel that they have to have a hundred percent of those posted qualifications mm -hmm. before they will even consider applying for the position but for men they will go ahead and apply if they have either 50 or 60 percent of those qualifications because they recognize that I can jump in and learn a lot of this on the job and on the go and I have this confidence in my ability to learn on the fly and in my talents that allows me to say yes I'm gonna go for this position so women out there recognize that this is something also in our culture it's it's in the background you may not even realize that you have this because it's so much a part of the air that we breathe is this idea that I have to have I have to be absolutely qualified or even overqualified in order to even start trying something well I'm here to tell you that's not true Mm -hmm. And the more women begin to jump in and just start doing and learning on the fly, the better the world is going to be for it. It's really important that we get our feminine values more into the mainstream in our culture so that we can really turn things around because you all know we're going down the tubes pretty fast on our planet. And part of my big mission is to create, help create this paradigm shift so that we can actually create a world that works for all of us, that we can continue to live in. Mm -hmm. And time is kind of running out on us. So I really want to empower, especially you feminine conscious and spiritually oriented entrepreneurs, to go for it. Now, another thing that I want to talk about in this confidence gap piece, I just mentioned spirituality and spiritual entrepreneurs. And Spirituality is a big part of me and why I do what I do. And it's a big part of what I do, actually, in teaching women to speak from their fully aligned, authentic selves. I mean, fully aligned spiritually and physically and mentally. So, mind, body, spirit all together. And aligned with money. We're going to talk about that a little bit later, too. So, in the spiritual community, there is this belief that it's not okay to be wealthy and that if I make a lot of money I'm betraying my spiritual principles and some of my mentors call this spiritual snobbery and I'm, I'm gonna say that and I don't want you to take it as I'm calling you a snob <laughs> I'm not calling you a snob but money is energy Right. Money is what we have agreed is a medium of exchange. So you give me money and I give you my training and experience and I help you to create what you want to create in your life. I give the grocery store money for my food and I give um, money to causes that I care about. Uh, in order to help those causes do what they want to do. 
Money is really energy passing around. It flows in and it flows out. It doesn't have any particular negativity or positivity to it whatsoever. And in the spiritual world, we can really tend to think of money as, as negative and it has a kind of yucky quality and oh, I wish I didn't have to even think about money. It just, I could just do what I love and, and live and, and not have to think about money. That would be perfect. Well, unfortunately, we can't. And if we're trying to run a business, double, triple, quadruple, you can't think that way. Because what's going to happen? What what happens, Rodney, if you, if you think, oh, I, I just am not going to think about money? Yeah, well, you're not going to be in business. And <laughs> then, you know, and even if you have to go get a job, you're still in business because the business is hiring you to work for them. So it's, right. in, and, it's, it's inescapable. <laughs> and, and we need money in order to buy food, in order to have shelter, in order to do the things that we want to do in the world. So recognize that money is something that is neutral in and of itself. And it can also be a magnifier. But if you start to bring more money into your life, it's not going to change who you are. It can magnify those parts of you that are really good. Money can actually help you do good in the world. And you know you have things that you want to contribute to, especially if you're a change agent or a messenger of change on the planet. You have causes very near and dear to your heart that you want to be able to support. And I want you to be able to support them. I have causes that I support, too. That's really important to me. So those are some of the things that are really important for us to recognize when we want to be able to raise our fees and actually charge what we're worth. Now another thing that I want to talk to you about that makes it hard for a lot of us to even talk about money is what I call voice stories. And you, those of you who've seen my hangouts before have heard me talk about voice stories. They're unconscious decisions that we've made about how to sound, how to speak. And they usually come from childhood or sometimes from traumatic events that happened as an adult. And voice stories uh, can be things like you were told all the time that children should be seen and not heard or girls should be seen and not heard, which tends to be more common, unfortunately. Or you had a parent at home who was really volatile and everyone was walking around on eggshells in order not to set off that parent. So you, you really held your voice back. You stopped speaking up for yourself and speaking out for yourself or even fully expressing yourself because it wasn't safe at home to do that. Um, Rodney, what are some other voice stories? Oh, wow. Well, there's the one for me. Well, one that I found that comes up a lot for creative people in particular is that I'm selling out. If I don't allow myself, if I'm I shouldn't be charging a lot of money for what I'm doing because this is coming from my heart and my spirit, so to speak, for my creativity. So this is the story that I'm selling out. Uh, yes. That's what I tend to come across a lot with artists in particular. Yes. Oh, that's such a great one. I'm so glad you brought that up because I really had that one <laughs> because <laughs> I'm an artist. I used to be a professional modern dancer. I was a professional opera singer and I really did have that one. And how it showed up for me as a limiting belief too, not just a voice story, but was I will no longer be an artist if I make a lot of money. And that's really not true. It's actually just not true. And another voice story I just heard this weekend, I was at a conference with a bunch of really top coaches and uh, trainers and consultants and one woman had this voice story from her childhood and you could really hear it in her voice when she was trying to speak about what it is that she actually does. And the, the trainer actually caught it and said, who told you that you can't speak up? Oh, my dad. Her father had actually told her that people wouldn't believe her. 
when she speaks. Oh. And that was one that I hadn't heard before and that that's you know really damaging one and you know when these things happen when our parents say these things to us they they are generally not saying them because they're trying to hurt us right mm -hmm. they have something that they're speaking out of either it's their own voice story or mm -hmm. their own particular perception about how things are in the world and they are either trying to do something for themselves that's positive, or they're trying to do something for us that's positive. Mm -hmm. So I'm not here to try and uh, tell you your parents were bad people. That's not at all what I'm saying. These stories come out of the culture. So the girls should be seen and not heard, or even children should be seen and not heard, definitely comes out of the culture. And you know, if you are even in a different culture than the American or Western European culture, that those stories about women and girls can get even more extreme. Mm -hmm. So that really, uh, the culture is planet-wide. It's just less in our country than it is in some other countries, other places in the world where girls are not even allowed to go to school. Uh, mm -hmm. So there are layers and layers to these things, of course. But I want you to be able to uncover those voice stories for yourself because what they do is they cause you to actually hold back. They stop you from speaking out, speaking up, and speaking fully with full free self-expression in a way that's really completely aligned for you. So I really want you to be able to release those voice stories. Right. So another thing that gets in our way in terms of raising our fees can be the tone of voice that we use. So you all have probably, if you're an entrepreneur and you've been to events or you've been on people's teleseminars or webinars or you watch their videos, you've seen somebody do this, I'm sure when they get to the point they've given possibly a great presentation, you've been really engaged and interested, and then they get to the point of their offer and they start talking like this, and the quality of their voice changes, and the pitch might rise up a little bit, and the tone of voice just sounds so hesitant, and like, I'm just not really sure that this is okay for me to say, or that I am really worth what I'm asking for. Right? And so if mm -hmm. I speak in that tone of voice, all of a sudden you go, whoa, this person is really not confident. And would that inspire you to work with me? I don't think so. No. No. It doesn't inspire me either. <laughs> Rodney, I'm sure mm -hmm. you've seen that before. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, and another one I've noticed too, um, and I've noticed this more with guys than I do with women in particular, is that they'll accelerate the speed in which they speak when they get to the offer part, like they're trying to run through it. Mm -hmm. I call it a drive-by sales pitch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're not quite sure you've been hit with something yet, and later on you realize that, oh, you know, they were trying to sell me something, and when they start talking numbers, the, the, the speed just accelerates. So that's something I've noticed. Right, right. So this is something that I work with my clients with all the time is the tone of voice and to really become aware because often we don't realize that we have changed our tone of voice. So learning to really listen to ourselves accurately is extremely important. So one tool that you all can use, and I know this might make you go, Bleh, is to record yourself and listen back to it. I know sometimes we really hate the sound of our own voice on a recording. You're going to have to get over it. Part of the reason that you don't like it is that just you aren't accustomed to listening to yourself on a recording. And as you do this more and more and as you start working with your tone of voice and you listen to it and you go, ooh, I really didn't sound confident there. Okay, how can I sound more confident? And so you take some deep breaths and you stand up and you feel yourself grounded and rooted and you get more energy in your voice and then you say it again and then you play that recording back and you go, oh yeah, that sounded better. I, I like that better. 
the more you do this, the more you're going to be more accurate about actually hearing yourself because you're getting more true feedback about what you really sound like. And you can also ask people that you really trust because these are not people that are going to criticize you and make you feel awful. So really good friends uh, or colleagues whom you really trust to treat you kindly and with care, ask them, geez, how do I sound? Do I sound confident? Do I, have a, do I sound like a little kid sometimes? Mm -hmm. uh, do I, or do I sound too strong sometimes? And that's even another issue because, and this gets into a sort of catch-22 for women, but sometimes if you're speaking in a really strong and, and intense and powerful voice, that doesn't have very much modulation, that can also be really off-putting too. So sometimes for women, the catch-22 is that if you speak with power and confidence, you can be thought of as bitchy or uh, too aggressive or not nice. Oh, I remember working with one client a while ago and I asked her to practice saying, no, I don't want to do that in a really firm way. And when I demonstrated it to her just like that, no, I don't want to do that, she said, oh, that's nasty. And I went, oh my gosh. That's a voice story. That's a story that says, if I speak firmly and confidently and state exactly what is so and true for me and what I want, powerfully, it's nasty. Mm -hmm. It's not. It isn't. And we women have to be careful ourselves because we can be just as guilty as the men at saying, oh, she's a bitch, if she speaks that way. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of studies out there that show that women react exactly the same way that the men do. And again, it's the culture. It's, it's what's in the background. It's the air we breathe. It's the water we swim in, so we don't even notice it. So I would like all of you, men and women, but especially women, to be aware of notice if that comes up for you. If you hear a woman who is speaking strongly and powerfully for exactly what she wants, if you get that reaction coming up saying, oh, she sounds like a bitch, notice that and say, oops. That's the cultural yeah. matrix, and I am not going to fall into it. I'm going to support other women in speaking strongly and powerfully. We all have got to do that. Great. So I want to now tell you about something that I am so excited about. I know some of you have been asking for a long time if there was a way to work in a group program with me. Guess so what? There is. <laughs> we have developed the Voice Your Value, How to Charge What You're Worth and Get It teleclass. This is a four-week teleclass with me in which I will be teaching you exactly how to do that. And I'll be giving you all kinds of tools and wonderful handouts and exercises and templates that you can use so that you can get over this feeling sick to your stomach, at having to say your fees, um, feeling like your clients aren't going to go for it if you raise your fees, um, not believing that you have enough experience or enough certifications to raise your fees. So we're going to do lots of exercises that are going to give you fabulous tools to use so that you can step into this new empowered pricing paradigm for yourself and get those higher fees that you know you have been longing to charge. Especially if you're a spiritual entrepreneur, most likely you haven't dared to raise your fees, maybe even for quite some time. And as I've been saying, I want you to succeed. I really want you to make the money that you truly deserve and you don't have to make six figures. You don't have to be a millionaire if you don't want to. Mm -hmm. The amount of money that you want and need is up to you. Mm -hmm. And one of my mentors says it's enough money so that I don't have to worry about it. 
mm-hmm. at all. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. whatever that is for you, and for some people that could be seven figures, and for some others it's not that much. So whatever that is for you, to be in integrity with your true full self and to be able to step into that higher amount and feel really confident and great about it. So this is a four-week teleclass. It's going to begin on July 16th and run through August 6th on Wednesdays. And we will be meeting live at 1 p.m. Pacific time, and that's 4 p.m. Eastern. The classes will be about 75 minutes, so there will be time for content and teaching and then time for your questions and coaching. And um, we have a really exciting bonus if you sign up. Before the day of the first class, you're going to get a bonus call on creating compelling web videos. How the heck do I do that? You know for your business, you need to be doing videos, and I know so many women out there are going, oh, I've got to lose weight first, I don't have the right equipment, Um, I'm just not confident, I can't do it. Well, we're going to show you how to do it. And Rodney, my dear friend, is a complete whiz with all of the technical details of doing this. He does my videos for me. So he's going to be on the call and helping you fill in all that technical information that's really not that hard so that you can create web videos at home so you can put them up and shine and start to attract your ideal clients at your new fees. So that's one bonus that we have for you. And then I am also very pleased and delighted to offer the first five people who sign up for this class will get a 30-minute private one-on-one coaching session with me. So, Rodney, do we have a link right below this where people can click if they're ready to do that? Of course, we have more to tell you. Yes, absolutely. So right below the broadcast where you're watching right now is a big yellow button that says, yes, I'm ready. Just click on that. It'll immediately take you to the shopping cart to uh, to purchase the program. Wonderful. Yeah. Good. So I've got lots more content for you here today as well. And I want to talk to you a little bit more about mindset. And paradigms and I I mentioned paradigm shift and a a paradigm is just kind of a general umbrella over something and it's a perception really it's a way of perceiving the world or perceiving certain situations so the paradigm that we currently have in terms of our economic models right now I've already been talking about is one that completely devalues women and traditional feminine attributes gives them no monetary value at all. So that makes it really easy for people to just take and take from the planet without taking into account the costs to the environment and to our health and uh, to the survival of our species actually uh, because though that's not in the paradigm. So in this class we are going to be talking about what's in your paradigm and how to shift your paradigm so that you can actually step into that fully empowered pricing paradigm that really allows you to charge what you're worth and I'm really excited about the particular exercises that I have for you around that it's going to be really beautiful and we're going to take the journey with spirit So it is going to bring you into alignment, spiritual alignment with your pricing, which I'm sure is going to be really helpful. I know it's been extremely helpful for me to create that kind of alignment to help me feel really powerful and confident in my pricing. Mm -hmm. And I also want to talk about boundaries because this is another issue that women can have often is to, to really have strong and solid boundaries with their time. So how many of you out there are chronic over-deliverers on your coaching sessions or your business consulting sessions? 
I know you are. I mean, <laughs> so again, this is something that isn't necessarily just limited to women. So you get you do you book a perhaps it's a 30 minute session with someone, it might be a 60 minute session with someone and you get to the end of the hour and you find yourself bringing up something new for them at you know 5 minutes before the end of the session. And then you feel like, "Oh, I got to I've got to complete this with them." Or your client brought up something entirely new 5 minutes before the end of the session and Sometimes clients do this. There are certain kinds of clients who are, you know, kind of trying to control the session or they just are always trying to get something more out of you. And you give it to them. And you're not getting paid for it. So I really want to talk with you about that because you actually are not serving your clients by doing that. When we don't hold our own boundaries and when we don't hold our own value, because you're not holding your value if you're just over giving on your time always, over and over and over. The message that you're giving to your clients is the same, that you don't value yourself and that you don't have good boundaries. And as a coach in particular, boy, that is not a good message to be sending to your clients. You want to be coaching your clients to be powerful and to hold clear boundaries and so that they can be successful at what they're doing. So we have to model that for our clients. So it isn't just for us, it's also for our clients. We need to show them how and model for them how to hold appropriate boundaries. So this is one thing that you can start to do right away is stop going over on your sessions. Just stop. Set a timer for yourself if you need to. And one way that's really good to stop from going over is to set it up at the beginning. Say it's a 30 minute session. You say, okay, we have 30 minutes together. Here's what we're going to do in our session. And at 25 after the hour, I'm going to let you know that we only have five minutes left. And that will be our time to wrap up. So you can set it up that way. And then set a timer and hold to it. Make yourself do that at 25 minutes past the hour. You know that it's time to wrap up. So, okay, how are you going to wrap up? Another thing it makes you do is get much more clear on exactly what you're doing in a session and exactly how you're going to deliver it because you know you don't have that slush time. So you're actually going to get more effective in mm. less time. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so make sure that you start empowering your own boundaries around your session times. Cut it out with the over delivering on going over time on your sessions. Okay? Promise? <laughs> That's a good one. I really like that. And you know, and before I've heard that kind of before, but that's a really great tip. And I've heard people have egg timers on their desk when they start their session. Mm -hmm. um, and it kind of seemed rude to me the first time I heard it, but the way you've explained it now, I'm actually excited about it because I am a chronic over deliverer. So <laughs> I mean, there's no 12 step program for us. <laughs> I'll have to do the next timer <laughs> to help me. <laughs> yes, <laughs> right. Tip. Right. Tip. right. So that helps us also stand in the truth of our value. And this is another thing that we're going to be working with in the class is how to really own your value and stand in the truth of it and be able to voice your value. And of course, I'm a voice coach, which is why I've called this Voice Your Value, because we talked about the ways that your voice can betray you and show that you're not really believing in your own value. So we will be working in the class with this, uh, increasing your ability to voice your own value. So we'll have exercises, and some of the things that we'll be doing will be things that will just help you really recognize all the things that contribute to what you have done because 
it's not just your certifications or your degrees or your training that you have to offer. You have everything that you've done in your life. All of who you are is actually what you're offering. And some of you out there may have been trained in the same programs or trained by the same person, but you are all delivering the content in your own way, in your own unique way. So when you really can fully own, stand in and voice your value out of a recognition of all that you are, you become so much more valuable to your potential clients because you're owning it for yourself. You get it and they get it. So you have to really get it and then you have to actually voice it. So you can't be in this place of my client who said, oh no, that's nasty when I asked her to say some no really firmly and strongly. Right? And don't you out there think it's really important for people to be able to say no strongly and firmly, particularly women, particularly you need to be able to teach your daughters to say no. Think about all the stuff that's been in the news recently about rapes on campus and how many women go through school and have an experience in college where they are either sexually assaulted or fully raped. So uh, we have to be able to say no. So you have to be able to stand in that truth, in that value, in honoring yourself and to be able to speak from it. And to be, it's just as important to honor your own value in your own business as it is to honor your own body and your own control over your own body. Your business is you. It's an expression of you in the world. And don't you want that to be really honored and valued? I do. I want that for you. Absolutely. Absolutely. So we will be working on specific exercises for owning your value and really standing in it and then being able to speak that with power and confidence. And I really love doing that. I love hearing the shifts for people when they do that. And I have so many clients who have found that just incredibly powerful after they've worked with me, that ability to just speak fully without holding themselves back is priceless. That is just priceless. Ronnie, you had something to say? No, well, no, just to echo what you've already said, you know, uh, kind of dialing back a little bit to the whole piece about over-delivering, because again, that's a, that's a big one. But what you really shifted my thinking about on that is that you really aren't doing your client or possible client a service by just going over. Mm -hmm. Because what happens is they get overwhelmed by all the things that you've said, and so they almost leave you with more questions than they had before they started the session with you. So this really was a nice way to really get clear about that, is that by keeping it tight and keeping it to the, the time that you set, um, you're, you're staying integrity with yourself and you're actually being a better service to your, to your client or possible client. So that was a huge aha moment for me. It's not, it's not a, you know, we laughed about it. It is funny the way I kind of said the thing about 12-step thing. But I mean, I really, it's like if you really want to be of service, you've got to stay in service. And doing yes. that, it's not, it's not overloading your client with too much information. So thank you for pointing that one out. Right. That, that would right. shift that for me. And, and it's also really about being in integrity. And I've been on a personal growth journey most of my life. I started doing things in, in, back in my 20s and did the original, one of the, the last original S trainings and uh, things with Werner Earhart. And then I've done lots of other things first after that. And um, one of the most important things that they all emphasize is integrity, is really being your word. Is the way they use the phrase now, it's a landmark education. But if you are not keeping your commitments to your clients, you're probably not keeping some commitments to yourself either. And it's really important for us to step into fully aligned integrity, for us to be honest, actually be honest with ourselves first, 
and with our clients. And of course we say things in a way that are they're couched in a way in a tone of voice that people can really hear. But if you have clients backing out of programs on you or uh, not honoring your time by not showing up for appointments or showing up late for an appointment and then expecting you to go over by the time, you are not honoring their integrity if you don't hold them by using your integrity. So you have to hold your boundaries there too for the purpose of integrity and for your own fully aligned spiritual self. That's just one of the primary pieces of personal growth work. And it's, of course, ongoing <laughs> because we, we have many little ego parts of ourselves that can, can pipe up and, and lead us off track. Uh, and again, uh, the parts of ourselves, just like our parents, usually have some positive reason for what they're doing. But we can't let our little three-year-old part drive the car. Right, so or the the little part that got when she was a kid or he was a kid that the most important thing is to be liked. Everybody has to like me. The clients are not there for you to like them or for them to like you. They're there for you to help them achieve something, and they're paying you for that. So you're not helping them if you are not staying in integrity with yourself. And if you're not holding them to integrity within themselves. So don't let them bail out on you because it's, they're really bailing out on themselves when they do that. And that's, a, that's a tough lesson if you're continually bailing out on yourself all your life. You're never going to achieve your dreams. You're just not going to. So that integrity is really important for actually succeeding in your business and your divine purpose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, what I also want you to think about is what you offer, the power of what you, the way what you do solves the problems of the clients that you have. So, I want you to really become aware of exactly the results of your work for your clients. And I want you to really stand in the value of that. And this is another thing we're going to go into depth on in this four-week teleclass, is really being able to recognize and stand in the value of the problems that you solve, how you solve problems for people. That's another piece in being able to charge what you're worth and get it. Excuse me, if you don't really realize the value of what you're giving, to people, then you may not feel comfortable in raising your fees. But when you can really get, oh, what I do actually really changes people's lives. And exactly how does it do that? Oh, it does it in all these ways. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, duh, I should be charging mm -hmm. more. Because mm -hmm. look at those results. So mm -hmm. that's another thing that's really important to get aware of. And we are going to have specific exercises to help you get there and really stand in the value of the service that you provide and the problems that you solve. And then out of that, out of standing in your own value, standing in the value of the problem, of solving the problem, you're going to have an easy way to actually create that statement of what you do. Like the one that I gave at the beginning of the Hangout, I teach women entrepreneurs to speak with power and confidence from their fully aligned, authentic selves to be truly seen and heard, to get their message out, and to succeed in their divine purpose. That comes out of, well, what are the problems I solve and, and what are the results that people get from working with me? So you'll get a wonderful template that's going to help you create that statement really easily out of the previous exercises that we do in the course, and that's something I'm really looking forward to. It's really a fun part. And we're also going to talk about what to say when you're asked what you charge. <laughs> uh <-oh>. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you do, Rodney, when someone says, what do you, well, what do you charge? 
Well, you know, in the past, what I always did was I equated a number based on the amount, on the service I was actually delivering. So I was focused much more on the deli the service deliverable mm -hmm. um, and not on the value of that service deliverable for my client. So, if, for example, time for many people is almost more or equal to or greater than uh, money. To people. people value their time more than they do their money in some respects. So if you can save someone time or eliminate something for them that they would otherwise have to do themselves, that has a, a very tangible value for people. Right. And I didn't really equate for a long time how much time I save my clients by the fact that I take care of so many different things that they don't have to spend that energy uh, focusing on. They can use that energy for other things. Mm -hmm. That's been a really big aha and a shift for me. So right. it's not just, you know, this person can do a website for you and this is how much they charge to put it together, but it's the time that you, that, and they're looking for all the holes and the nuances and the different things that I would see but they would miss. Right. So, um, so it's, a real, it's a real shift in looking at yourself in that way. How are yeah. you saving time for someone? Because that's, for many people, that's, that's a huge commodity. Yeah. And I just want to say to you here on the Hangout that uh, don't lead with your price. That if you just lead with your price, then people are going to make a decision based on price. Mm -hmm. And in this teleclass, I'm going to tell you exactly what to say instead so that you have the perfect thing that is going to lead into a conversation that helps people understand what they want and they can make their decision from that place. Because mm -hmm. we don't want them making a decision just based on money because that doesn't really mean anything. Right? Especially when they don't yet perhaps understand the full value of what it is that you do. So when you've gone through these four weeks of this teleclass, you will completely understand the value of what you do and you will be able to say what I'm going to teach you how to say with total confidence and feel in complete integrity about it. And again, we'll talk about tone of voice as well there. And then one of the uh, great things that you're going to get in this course is an easy template that is going to show you how to figure out what to charge because I'm sure you all have had this, like, tearing your hair out, trying to figure out, okay, what do I charge for this? What, how do I value this? It's an easy template that you can just plug your numbers into that will show you exactly what to charge, and it's, a, it's repeatable. You can use this over and over. You can use it for different products and services that you offer, and you can use it any time you're getting ready to raise your fees again. So we will talk about that, and that is a wonderful thing that's going to be available to you. So again, I want to just invite you to come and join us for this four-week teleclass. And we start on July 16th. It goes through August 6th, and it will be recorded. There will be recordings, and uh, so if you can't make the sessions live, you absolutely can listen to the recordings. We will have a private Facebook group, so also if you couldn't make the call live and get your questions answered in person, you will be able to post them in the group forum. And you'll get feedback from other members in the class, and you'll get answers from me and possibly from Rodney as well, if it's in his expertise. So the class is, again, a four-week teleclass, and then we have, woo, these wonderful bonuses for you. We have, the, for the first five people who sign up, you are going to get a 30-minute one-on-one coaching session with me so that I can really help you personally step fully into your value, truly voice your value, and charge what you're worth and get it. And another bonus that we have is for anyone who signs up before the first day of the class, so before July 16th, you get an extra bonus call about how 
to create compelling web videos. And what's the actual title of the call, Rodney? <laughs> I'm blanking on it. Yeah, so how to shine on camera and make compelling web videos is yes. the class. And right. You want me to right. tell them a little bit about what we're going to cover? Yes, so yeah. you'll get you'll get coaching from me on uh, your delivery and your presence on camera. Mm -hmm. And then Rodney is going to give you coaching on technical aspects of how do you get set up to do it, how do you actually make those videos. And uh, he has all kinds of wonderful handouts and checklists for you. And then we also have decided who... Are we going to tell him about this yet, Rodney? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> well, we just decided we wanted to have a, another bonus for you guys. So we're going to have a raffle, and one of you will be selected to be coached live with me in the Hangout format as we do this. So you're going to get personal, on-camera, live coaching from me about how to do your compelling web video. So, of course, to do that, you're going to have to have a little script to work with. But um, that's all I'm going to let you know about right now. So, again, we'd love to have you join us in Voice to Your Value, How to Charge What You're Worth and Get It, because you need to be successful I want all you conscious spiritual women and men entrepreneurs out there to be successful in what you do so that we can shift this economic paradigm and so that we can take the economy away from the people that have been running it so far. I mean, really, this is another issue. If you have this thing about, oh, you know, money isn't spiritual, seriously, do you want to leave the economy to the people who've been running it so far? And how much good do you think you can do in the world if you're poor compared to if you had some money to contribute? So I would like you to think about how much good you would like to do in the world with the money that you can make after you raise your fees and jump right in and join us for this teleclass. Click the button below. It's a reasonable investment, and there is a 100% money-back guarantee. Yeah. So, so what else, Rodney? Yeah, so yes, and on that topic of that, you know, you can come to uh, the first two classes, and um, there's some information about that. If you find that, you know, for whatever reason, it's just not a fit for you, you can let us know before the start of the third class, and you will, you know, receive a refund. So it gives you a chance to come in and sort of test drive it to make sure it's a fit for you, but I feel right. you'll know in your heart if it's a fit for you. If you resonate with anything that Ariana right. has said today, you'll know right away. And yeah, and I do want to say that you do have to actually come to the first two calls and do the work yeah. in the first two calls. And then if you say, nah, this is not meeting my expectations, then absolutely I'll give you your money back. Yeah, yeah. so you'll have to take it by that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just a little bit to add on about the bonus call for everyone who does sign up before the class starts. As Ariana said, July 16th is the first day of the class. Uh, the, by, uh, everyone who signs up by July 15th, we're going to do the bonus call with Ariana and myself. And something that oh, you will be able... I'm sorry, go Yeah, ahead. we didn't say that bonus call is going to be on Saturday, August 9th. Yes, Saturday, August 9th will be the bonus call. And there's a uh, video is something that is extremely important. If you are not doing video already, you will want to start doing video right away. Uh, Ariana has been teaching classes outside of the Google Hangouts on this very same topic. As she mm -hmm. mentioned earlier, what I do is I shoot all of her video, and I'll give you a little secret right now. You don't need an expensive camera. I shoot Ariana's videos on an iPad. <laughs> so you don't need expensive <laughs> equipment. Uh, but you do need to have a proper setup, and I will go over everything about lighting. You'll get a little downloadable checklist, the lighting that I use, uh, what editing software I use. Many of you have a Macintosh computer, you already have the software that I use. Um, and then also a really, really exciting part that you want to really make sure you're on that bonus call about is if you're worried about what topics that your video should be around, I help you, a uh, little trick I use with Google Keywords, 
to find out exactly what the titles of your video should be and how to add clickable links inside of your video so that you can send people back to your opt-in page to give away your free your book or your report or sign up for your own hangouts or your classes. So it's a complete video marketing system, really, that's going to be delivered in a presentation. And you can also get bonus video tutorials that I will walk you through this as well. So if you've been thinking about video, you need to be at this. But Ariana's going to get you ready for the camera, and I'm going to help you get your videos produced uh, so that they can be out there and shine for you and get your new clients. Your new yes. Work. So you can see, I hope, that just the bonus call is probably worth the price of the whole teleclass. But first, we are going to get you really voicing your value so that when you do your video, you come across as powerful and confident and secure in your own value and interesting and exciting and engaging to your listeners so that they want to work with you. So all the work that we do in the four weeks prior to the special bonus call is going to help you get set up to create that compelling, successful web video. Yeah. So we Absolutely. are really looking forward to having you in the class. So go ahead and click that button. And uh, of course, if you have any questions, you can put them in the chat box below, and we will get back to you about the questions. And we are going to have a, another Q&A call about this event uh, next week. Rodney, it's, it's Wednesday. It's going to be, so depending upon when you see this video, but uh, the Q&A, bonus Q&A call, pre-call, before the class starts, is on July the 9th at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And you'll be getting information about that as well and how to join us. So if you have any other questions, you can leave them in the chat box and we will address them on the call. Right. Or if you want to attend live, which we highly recommend you do, uh, come and join us. And we will get all your questions answered so that you'll know fully that this is the program for you. And uh, right. I'm so forward to working with you guys. I'm excited about this. I'm yes, looking forward to I know. To uh, being a part of the calls myself and then telling you all how to make great videos and get your clients. So Yes, so get ready to voice your value and charge what you're worth and get it. Absolutely. We look forward to seeing you there. All right, wonderful. So as Ariana said below, click the yellow button. It'll take you right to the shopping cart. You will be... Um, uh, just click that and uh, what we will do is we'll reach out to you. This is the first day of the launch of this new program. So we'll reach out to you with all the information that you need, and we'll make sure you're all taken care of. And any questions you have, you can either email Ariana directly. And do you, Ariana, do you? Well, well we'll just, know. Just, yeah, yeah, I just want to remind you the first five people who sign yeah. up get one-on-ones with me. Right. So and you that, want to, yeah. Depending yeah. on when you're watching this, you want, you want to, if you really want to make sure you get one of those slots, you want to do that right away because those slots may be all taken before we do our Q&A call yes. on July the 9th. Right. So that's like another week and a half away. So I would jump on that right away so that you make sure you secure a spot. Okay. So wonderful. So thank Great. you all so much for joining us. I'm really looking forward to having you in the class, and uh, Ariana is going to take really good care of you. She's an amazing coach, extremely passionate about what she does, and she's dedicated to helping you get results in this area. No need to struggle by yourself. Get the support that you need and join us for Voice Your Value, how to charge what you're worth, and get it. So this is Rodney Washington leaving you today. Ariana, any last words you want to share before we sign off? Just woohoo! Let's yes. go! Woohoo, let's go. <laughs> See you in the class. Take care, everyone. <laughs>